Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Today we're going to talk about locked iPhones. Well, if you have an iPhone 4 or 4S or 5 and you were relying on some jailbreak to get unlocked, then if you update it, you know, to iOS 7 with your iPhone 4 for instance, then you will find out that your phone is locked again. And you cannot activate the phone because you don't have uh, the original SIM card to do so. How to fix? Well, it's not an easy problem because if you are bent, uh, if your baseband is locked, let me try to find it here for you. When we talk about baseband, we go to in about about the phone in settings and here you can see the baseband it's called modem firmware i hope that you can see it a little bit let me hold it real still you see that modem firmware and the modem firmware of this uh, iphone is 41209 unfortunately this is an unlocked phone I don't rely on any unlock for this phone but I did have a phone had a phone I don't have it anymore that was locked that had a locked baseband and how can you fix a locked baseband if you're on an iPhone 4 having a locked baseband and it's a 16 gigabyte then the chance is big that it's older than two years and if it's older than two years you can probably just call the provider you know if you know to what sim it was locked and how to find out what sim you're locked to well uh, if you put down your IME number here then I will you know tell you to what uh, company your phone is locked this is of course only for iPhones not for Samsung or you know any other phone only for iPhone this is only for iPhone users that you know have a home screen that they cannot enter however if you are updated to 712 and you come to some screen that is you know you cannot bypass because you cannot activate and you cannot even get into the home screen so you cannot even you know make a picture or watch some you know whatever with the thing you cannot use it as a hand computer then you're totally screwed right well don't worry um, to be able to enter the home screen and that does not necessarily mean unlock the phone because you know the problem is that at this moment the tool that we used you know to create a custom ROM and to you know it doesn't work on the 7.x you know so what we have to do the first thing that we need to do is to go back to downgrade to 6.13 and how can you downgrade without uh, without having your your uh, uh, what is it called without having your SSH files saved you know uh, I was totally confused I was thinking of something else but you know uh, there are ways to also unlock your iPhone 4G this does not always work for the 5 and for the 4S but for the 4G I know it works you know and I'm gonna make a video about that how to you know downgrade because we're gonna downgrade this phone it's running 7 point I think the very latest uh, 7.12 I think let me see yeah it's running 7.12 can you read it and uh, the 7.12 in fact uh, we gonna downgrade back to 6.13 and I'm gonna do that with the iPhone 4G so in fact I can only talk about the 4G because I don't have the 4S or I don't have the 5 I only have the 6 and I'm not gonna jailbreak my 6 because uh, it still has warranty maybe after two years when you know it's warranty free um, when the warranty is over you know I might do it with the 6 but for now I won't do it yet because you know it's my private phone so peeps um, what we must do is to you know find out how we can downgrade 
to 6.13. If, however, you need the machine to get in real fast, I will put a link here in the description only for 7, 7 X users, 7.11, 7.2, you know, not for 8 or for 6. I will put a special app here and um, what you should do is run the app and follow the instructions on your screen. Uh, I'm not sure if... No, you won't have to, you know, only thing I'm not sure of if the phone will be found in an activated state when, you know, it still need to be activated because I think, um, I'm not sure, let me see if there is a tool to jailbreak 712, let me see, red snow, um, red snow for iOS 7.1.2 let me see if there's a red snow because download red snow okay if you're looking for there you go there you go baby red snow bloody bloody blah if you're looking for a jailbreak for iOS 7.1 7.11 or 7.12 then download pangu you see so but i'm not sure if pango pangu will unlock the screen because in fact in fact because in fact you know uh i wanted to put the phone into a dfu mode and then jailbreak it because in fact my friends if you install 712 and you come to the screen that you need to activate and you have no SIM card, then you cannot activate. And in previous versions, I would put the phone into a DFU mode, connected to iTunes or connected to the computer, and then, you know, jailbreak it with Red Snow. But now I'm seeing that there is no Red Snow version. Uh, available to jailbreak iOS 7.1, 7.1.1 or 7.1.2. So I'm not sure if you run Pangu and you connect the phone that needs to be activated. Well, I'm, I can do it. We can make a video in the next video. Just check the video after this one because I have an idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to restore this phone. Let me see. Do I have important things on it? I think I still had a video that I had to edit because I use this phone for editing videos so I can jailbreak it. There's no problem. And then I make it original again. But just I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to get this phone back. I'm going to reset it in my next video. So make sure that you subscribe. In my next video, I will show this phone uh, being reset. all settings. It's not jailbroken. So it should, you know, go to the activation screen and then I'm going to do a jailbreak with Pangu while it's hanging on the activation screen while it's not activated yet so and then we're going to see if that will work because if that does not work then in fact we have a problem and then you have a problem you will have a problem then because you cannot uh, activate your phone putting in the power for my Mac but do you understand and then you cannot even get into the home screen. Because if you need to activate the phone with iTunes and there's no SIM card in it. I even had it with this uh, I, uh, iPhone 3G yesterday. Because the lady that sold me this iPhone 3G running, you know, the iOS 7 uh, ROM for iPhone 3G. You know, this phone. I found out the thing had no surface. And there was a SIM card in it. But the thing activated, but I never knew that there was a SIM card in it. So yesterday, I was like, let me put a SIM card in the thing. And then I saw, uh, blah, blah, unlock. So this thing is relying on some jailbreak. You know, I need to jailbreak this thing to get it unlocked. The lady never told me that. But I don't care, it's okay. Because I wanted this phone just to, you know, make, uh, 
to run the iOS 7 ROM, you know, on the iPhone 3G. It looks amazing. And uh, later, more about this, because I just reinstalled uh, other ROM, and it runs fantastic. I, I need to show it to you later. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel, and that in my next video, we will start with a phone that is hanging to be activated, and then we're going to see how we can activate iOS 7.12 in our next video uh, with uh, without a SIM card. Also, um, we're going to see uh, how to... Uh, jailbreak and or how to go back from 712 to 6.13 we also have, we must we must check that and uh, um, yeah we're gonna do it with the 4g so all my users with iphone 4g uh, make sure that uh, you tune in to uh, my next video or the video after that one because in my next we're gonna first try to you know get into an iphone uh, for that is hanging to be activated after a complete reinstall until then i talk to you then